Hey, how's it going, everybody? For today's video, we're going to continue our current BR run. We're 3-0. Oh. Obviously, the hope is to go 6-0. Oh. So looking at our team, if you're just tuning in, we have 99 pool holes leading things off. We got the bit. And by the way, I saw the comments. Everyone's freaking the hell out that I should be using Alvarez at leadoff. But again, here's my thinking. If I got three righties behind him, I'm baiting him to either bring in his best lefty for one batter. In which, again, if you take a look at my bench, I could go with Kingery if I feel like it is absolutely necessary if I am trying to get those runs because Kingery can play anywhere. So that's my thought process. I tend to do a lot of baiting in BR. That's, again, that's the way I like to think of things. So Alvarez, again, in the two spot. Mitch Garver, the 95, the absolute bopper. I mean, he is just going off. Three games, four tanks, slugging 2.2. Absolute champion. Then we got Suarez in the fourth spot. Reese Hoskins. Just another amazing player. There's not too much to say other than that. You got Juan Soto again, also as bait in the sixth spot. Brennan Rogers and Michael Taylor. Our bullpen isn't crazy good like our last run, but I feel like it's good enough. Kind of. I mean, it's going to be questionable towards the end. But we got Lou Trevino, who with that cutter, you're going to have to throw a lot and try and surprise him with two seams. You got Singrani as our only lefty. Trevor Gott will be there. I kind of hope to not really have to use him. Sam Freeman is also, I think I might have said that uh, Singrani was the only lefty. I am, I'm mistaken. Sam Freeman is also here probably better than Singrani, in my opinion. We got Hector Norris, which probably my go-to righty right now. Or I think it's Hector Neris. I could be wrong. I think that is the right way to say it. And then the seventh spot. Eric Gagne, 78, not bad, not great. They are, they're all just kind of meh. On the bench, there's basically only three notable players. We've got Roberto Perez, who is our just kind of overall bench bat, our go-to guy, righty or lefty, Joey Bats, and Scott Kingery, which again, is more than anything, the bait for Pedro Alvarez if they bring in that lefty. So like I said, we're currently 3-0. Let's go ahead and get right on into game number four. So our opponent for game number four is going to be the Venice Beach Dogtown. Wee's 38. He has Derek Dietrich leading things off. Zobris, Babe Ruth, Miguel Sano, Charlie Blackman, Jason Kendall. He's going to have a dirty bullpen looking at this team because, again, you see two diamonds, one gold. So that means he's got one diamond and two golds hiding in his pen. So good news for us. As long as we do a good job locating, we should be able to... We should be able to keep him silent. Bad news for us. So again, with that dirty bullpen, and he's already, he already went to his bench. We didn't even throw a pitch. 1-1, one, one, let's go with the change piece outside corner. Good pitch, absolutely ripped. Okay, maybe he could hit a little bit. We're gonna have to take a look. And surprisingly, he wasn't looking to turn the bag right away, but it still ends up being a double nonetheless. Oh, one, let's throw that dirty two seam outside corner. Beautiful pitch to Zobris. And we got Michael Taylor with the range in center. Out number one. And here's the challenge right here. Babe Ruth, and as we throw a splitter right down the middle, but we survive. Let's go. If we get out of this inning, no runs allowed. We did our job. And Neris, you did your job as well. Oh, two, that is not where I want it. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Your head might have just literally exploded. We're not going to be able to get him out at first. Hopefully, he is not injured. He is not. How? And we are going to get him to chase a splitter out of the zone. We do give up one run, but considering the circumstances, not amazing. But not bad at all. It could have been a lot worse. Booyah, yes. Do your damage. Lead us off. Mr. Booyah, yes. Good thing we looked at those pitches because that's what we're looking to do. And especially because of that shift, what could have easily been a line out to center now turns up into a double see here we go this is what i'm talking about the main switch does he want to bring in a good lefty to face alvarez which turns into kingery right now because we're behind which he does and now here is our mains a scott kingery let's go the old switcheroo will it work out scott kingery lines it to center unfortunately though that is not going to be able to be a productive out don't even know who his center fielder is but it doesn't matter how much of a noodle he he has or doesn't have He's going to leave in Will Smith to face Mitch Garver. That's what I'm talking about, the bait. If you're going to bring in a good lefty, you got three batters that could, that could torch you. Or, or we can absolutely whiff out number two. Never mind, single. Let's go. Suarez. Let's go against by the third baseman. Absolutely ripped. We are going to challenge, babe, and go home. We're going to be safe. We tie up the game. Who's up next? Reese Hoskins. Come on. Three-run shot. Let's do it. Wow, we fouled off two balls like an absolute champ, and then we did that. 
Juan Soto, pitch missile on out. Let's go. Three run lead. Juan Soto. Any card that he has, just absolutely. We went from an absolute high to a really, really bad low. We swung. We got a pitch to drive with Mr. Rogers. It's a good thing Juan Soto did his part because we just failed. Yeah, it's not good. That's oh, can we? Can we? Can Michael Taylor make the play? Okay, we at least keep it from being a double. But it is going to be a leadoff single. We need to get the double play. Or at least a strikeout right here. We're going to go fastball up and away. I feel like he's got a thing. Off speed's coming. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Look like I was right. Slider. Good pitch. Uh, uh, just at least get the out here, Chief. Okay. We at least get the lead runner. Out number one. Two seam inside. Absolutely ripped. This guy... He's hitting pretty well. I'm not going to lie. He is hitting the ball hard pretty much every at bat. But that is out number two. Come on, one more batter, Naris. You got this. Let's go. I don't know where third baseman is, but it looks like he sucks. Doesn't matter. Out number three. Yeah. Just, uh, just a hair out front. And then we straighten it out. But is it going to get by, babe? It is. That is going to be a double. Michael Taylor won the glitchy golds in this game. Absolutely love him. Good defense. Good stick. Yeah, positivity is nothing but a dream. Pujols and Mr. Booyah. Yes. Two run shot. Oh, that's who our third baseman was. Mr. Kingry. I forgot. It was usually Alvarez who does play a good defense. But again, Kingry, no slouch either at the plate. Base it. Mitch Garver versus Darren O'Day. Can Mitchie two bags? Can he have the same game he had last video? Mitchie two bags the other way hit high hit kind of deep not really right in front of the warning track out number two Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa Mr. Roller skates over at second base, but we do get two more send our lead to five. Let's not blow the lead Let's go gag me gone. Yeah, good pitch good pitch And then there's the ephus and he sat back on that well, but our right feet All right, Juan Soto. It's a good thing you hit a three-run shot because if not, dude, your defense blows on your card. Oh, to bring in the heaters. Uh-huh. We're going to give him the pitch. We're going to have to. I'm not. He's got to earn it. I'd rather him. Yeah. I was going to say, I'll groove a fastball because you never know. Your infielders, your outfielders can make plays for you out number one. All right, babe, Ruth, can we get you out again? Let, dude, what is with everyone dropping the balls? We got gloves, baby. We can use them. Good Lord, defensively, this team blows. Two seam heater, and we jammed them. But that is going to lead to a base hit up the middle. It's also going to lead to a run. Michael Taylor. Defensively, I'm about to lose it with this team. Bring that Ephus. Where's it going? All right, we're going to play the lever situation right here. We're going to start warming up the pen just in case. That is going to do it for Gagne. We're going to go Lou. We're going to go Lube Trevino and first pitch. That's why I like him. He's got that cut piece. And look what it does. That's right there. Exactly what we needed to get out of it. We win the game 6-2. to Albert Booyah, yes. Player of the game, a home run, a double. Two ribbies. Soto, one for one. Three run tank. Taylor, a double. Suarez. I guess that was a single with an RBI. Let's go ahead and get right on into game number five. Point of keeping us from five and no is going to be hashtag I'm too pro. All right. Mike Trout, Carlos Santana, Carson Kelly in the mornings. Rafael Devers, Didi, Marquecas, Segura. He's got himself a pretty good squad. And he's going to have a diamond hiding somewhere in the bullpen. So he's gonna he could have a decent bullpen. Good news for us. It is always a good day when we are the home team in BR. He's 125 and 89 in a three inning game. That's clearly good enough. Plays well, you never know. All right, Pudge's son. Let's go with the cutter first pitch at 86. Pure gas. Our man's throwing straight heat with that cutter. 85. All right, we're going to rely on the off speed. I don't know how slow your curveball is, but hopefully at this point, it's at a brisk 65. Don't matter what it was, you got to go out. Out number one. You did your job. Go with the old split cheese. No, not there. And uh, very nice. Come on, Naris. No mistakes. No more mistakes. 2-0. <laughs> what have we learned, boys? We need to start throwing more balls. Case in point. And then we do it again anyways. Thank God. 
Thank goodness he rolled that one over out number two. Throw the split cheese out of the zone. Don't put it in the zone. He's willing to swing like a cow zone. Don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't care. Bring the heater. Oh my God. All right, then. Split cheese in the dirt. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Two runs shouldn't be that big of a deal, but you never know. If the ball doesn't go our way, that's, again, two runs. May not be our best friend, but at least we know moving forward how to pitch our opponent. Yeah, I mean, it's a base hit. Questionable call on my part, though, for swinging at a fast mile of the zone. But again, at least we got blessed man on first. And here comes the good old bait and switch. Is he going to leave in the righty? He is. Pedro foul ball. Clutch at bat. Can't do anything about that. Absolute screaming right to right field. Absolutely did he torched it. Like I said, though. 108. That's all. That's what we got. Can Mitchie two bags? Ah, oh, dude. We're back to hating Mitchie two bags. I mean, he is on my nerves again. We didn't miss that by much. Uh, could have that one could have easily gone either way as well. Let's square it up with Suarez. Suarez is also gonna scream it. We got ourselves another base hit. One clutch swing. No, 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 no. We're good. Stay on the backs. One clutch hit gives us the lead. Reese down the line. That is going to give us one run. So at least we clutch up from that standpoint. But it is going to be station to station. First and second still there. One base hit. Assuming it's not hit right at somebody. Gives us the lead. And it doesn't matter. We draw a ball for Brandon Rogers. Please, let's not choke. Mr. Rogers base hit. For a second, I thought that wasn't getting down. 37 speed. Yeah, right. We at least tie it up. Another base hit. Hopefully, he doesn't go right to somebody. Michael Taylor. Michael Taylor. Stay fair. Eh. Damn. Michael Taylor. Did he rips it in the left? Let's go, dude. We are. That left fielder might want to hug the line a little bit because we just keep screaming it right at him. But we do get ourselves a two run lead courtesy. Probably one of the best gold center fielders. Could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Perez, get through the hole. Let's go. That is another run on an absolute awful hit. Let's not even front that, but five to two. Here we go. Booyahs. Here we go. Good pitch. Great pitch. Mr. Pools. That is not getting on out. That is going to die right in front of the warning track. But thankfully, we get our lead. We get terrible first inning as, as pitching goes, but great first inning as hitting goes. Let's at least try and keep the lead for once. All right, Trevor Gott, this is your time to come out. I don't think I've really used you that much. Considering you just got hit hard, it might be a good, might be a reason why I don't. All right, let's bring the absolute gas up and away. Die. Oh, one, how good's your curve? Oh my God. I mean, ended up down the middle, but that looked really weird. Out number two. Oh, one, smoking heaters. Not where I want it. Blah, blah. I'm gonna go right back to smoking heaters. Oh, two, straight case. Okay. After we just missed, and then we throw a change up over the plate. Good times. Will that just miss dot come back to haunt us? Or is Trevor got? Let's go, buddy. Let's keep throwing it down the middle. Can we keep him from scoring, though? Michael Taylor, good animation. He ain't scoring, but base hit will easily score two, and we are in danger of actually just blowing the lead at all costs and it's mike trout one two smoking heaters upstairs what are we gonna be able to catch that that's the beauty of all-star you can throw that thing at somebody's eyebrows and they can just rip it Hit right there. That just missed strike three. We blow the lead and lose it. Let's go, Trevor Got You are never seeing the light of day out of this bullpen ever again. Congratulations. You won that. We are going to keep rolling it in this time around. He finally chases the ball out of the zone, and we didn't get hurt for it. He brings out his own version of Trevor Got. May we absolutely rip him apart as well. Pedro... We're losing. Not too much we can do so far. Two piss missiles right at people. Two down. Suarez to center field. Hey, like I said, that's the downside of BR. You got three innings. You better hope they land. Three screamers, three outs. We got to keep this. We got to keep ourselves down by one going into the bottom of the third. If we could do that, 
I like our chances. Two, one straight guess. And that is ripped. This is not good. Not good at all. Lead off double. We got to find a way. Got to find a way to keep him from scoring. Two, two. We're going to bring that gas out of the zone. Oh, my God. It, he's in the, the rally starting. It happened last time. When you miss a pitch, that is literally a perfect spot. Just had to have missed it by a hair. Go back to that fastball. We do get the out, and there's going to be no advancement. We at least get that. Go back to our old friend, Gas out of the zone. Hey, we got to remember, this is all-star. It's not like it's on legend where you know it's going to be an out because the PCI should not be reaching there. But again, all-star. You can rip anything. Nanny, just If it just sneezes around the zone. Bury the split. Bury it. Yeah! Important times right here. First base runner's got to get on. Reese is going to drive it. Oh, is the luck from the second inning going to continue? I don't know if we got all of that. It's it high and deep. It is dying in front of the track. Out number two. And then I got frustrated. Swung at the very first pitch. Not even a strike. All right. Uh, and not, like I said, nothing you can do. Three innings. There's got to be a certain amount of luck on your side. You got to hope for it. We end up losing this game six to five. First inning we went off. Second and third inning necessarily couldn't really catch a break but michael taylor is one for one with a double reese hoskins one for two with an rbi rogers one for two with a ribby Pujols one for two santana did damage on us but he should have i mean we hung two pitches to him he should have carson kelly went one for two mike trout went one for two david Dahl one for one we'll go ahead and draft our next team for our next video see what team we can come up with unfortunately we did lose at four and one. First round in this draft not necessarily a good round not necessarily the cards that i would love so do we want to go liam hendricks and stack up the pen or should we go mike schmidt you know what we're going to take the route that we always seem to go when we go 12 and 0 let's start stacking the pen because again that is usually where i need the most help pedro alvarez welcome back to the team in the next diamond round we got a choice between hafner mike yastrzemski and kemp and now I, this is a hard one because kemp good fielder good speed I've done really well with I like his swing and it's going to be an all-star so that vision doesn't necessarily become too much of a problem I don't think I've really used Mike I haven't used him I'm going to go ahead and go with my gut and go Matt Kemp because he's going to play a premium position in center field good bat just all around player next round we're going to take Adam Duvall because he could play first third he could play anywhere and he's been a beast his hitting stats may be common but that is a damn lie and in the next diamond round that we got we got Trevor Story a great shortstop to always get it's the one you're looking for it's going at him to the squad okay this draft is going pretty well it's going pretty well so far on the offensive side of things we got Duda Alvarez Story Duvall Kemp and we're about to add Wilson Contreras to the team and it continues to get better Hunter Renfro another great power bat to have we just need to secure the pen we need I want three more really good pitchers and here is a lefty what pitches has he got doesn't even have a good repertoire but mike dunn does mike dunn has a good repertoire so he's gonna be in the bullpen the lefty that we need as much as i love scoop scoop put it in the poop shoot we're gonna go sam dyson again secure the bullpen liam hendricks and him gonna be our go-to's petite not necessarily a card that i'm thrilled about not not against it but not for it and let's go aj ramos the glitch here we this is what i'm talking about secure that bullpen joe kelly a glitchy bronze and i don't want to waste any more bronze pitchers going to the starting rotation our next gold round now here's where the issue starts becoming because we still have two spots left in pitching i need a common round to at least show up twice so we can get the pitching taken care of but our bullpen is literally secured it is secured we got petite we got mike dunn as our sole lefty but then sam dyson ramos joe kelly 97 liam neeson and guess who else we're adding? Hunter Strickland. That's the bullpen that I know I can win with. Now we have to roll the dice. And we have to choose a second baseman right here. We are going to go Starlin. All right, what do we need the most? Our outfield is pretty much secured. Defensively, that is a really good outfield. Shortstop is good. Alvarez is good over at third. Duda, I'm not too terribly concerned about. Is basically finding a guy they can play the infield spot well and guess what none of them do so unless renfro no duvall can play third or second i think duvall's got a little bit of secondaries on him so he might move around 
So who is the best outfielder that I'm happy to hit with? It's probably going to be Garcia. I don't think I've used him too much. Four games. We're going to take that shot. And our last bronze, we get our choices pretty much between nobody. So Ionet is going to be the bench bat. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the offensive side of things stacks up. Because hopefully Duvall can play second. I think he can't. He can play first. He can play third. And he can play all outfield spots really well. So with that being said, Alvarez can't play anywhere. I guess Starlin Castro... He's going to be hitting last for the team. So this time around, we're going to stack up the offense the way you guys recommended since we got him again. We'll go ahead and try it out. We're going to have Pedro Alvarez leading things off. And then behind him, Matt Kemp. Behind Matt Kemp, obviously, they're going to be going to the righty at this point. So we need somebody who can torch righties as well. Wilson Contreras can do it. Trevor Story can do it. Duda can do it. Renfro can do it against anybody. Again, the only real bat that we don't have is going to be Castro, who's guaranteed to hit last so he's going to move there so after some moving around the way the line's going to go pedro alvarez matt kemp wilson Contreras in the three spot story in the four hunter renfro in the five that is a really solid top five part of that lineup in the six spot we got lucas duda which again kind of of a bait play and with our bench we don't really have anywhere we could go to but duda hits pretty well against lefties anyways not statistically but with his bat, he's got a good swing is what I'm talking about. Adam Duvall will be in the seventh spot. Castro in the eight. So hopefully Castro can just hit a little bit for us. Obviously, I'm not looking for power. I would just hope that he's hitting singles. But again, the best part about this team is the bullpen. Between the go-tos are going to be Sam Dyson, Ramos, Strickland, and Hendricks. The notables are basically Joe Kelly, who is very good. You look at his stuff, he's got the stuff. Just doesn't really have the hits in case for nine. And then you got Mike Dunn as a sole lefty-lefty. He's going to be there to get us out of jams when lefty comes up. And Petit, I hope I don't have to use him. But he's effective because he throws slow. With that all being said, let me know in that comment section what you think of this new and current team. If you guys think I should redraft, I'll notice it in the comment section. And I'll go ahead and redraft before the next BR video. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Enjoy today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you